Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG, and I ran into a little program while I was doing some experimentation with um, WinLink, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, many folks out there don't have a TNC to do packet, and it's something that's used quite a bit these days in MCOM. Now, to buy a really good TNC is going to cost you a few hundred dollars. Some of them cost a few thousand. But I think I found a less expensive solution. There's a software program called um, Sound Modem that allows you to take something like a signal link or a rig blaster or even the sound card in your PC and wire it up to your radio and it does a software conversion and allows it to act as a TNC to do packet on FM. Anyway, I'd like to show how you get that installed and stuff. So without any further ado, let's get started. First things first, we want to take a look at a product called the Sig Signal Link. I happen to like the Signal Link quite a bit um, and it actually is one of the better methods of getting uh, into digital uh, with what we call AFSK. Now, uh, Let's see, I believe it's uh, Tigertronics is the manufacturer, and you can order everything you need off their website. Uh, at minimum, get the part numbers, because you're going to want the signal link itself, as well as some cables that are going to adapt to your radio, as well as getting your hands on the, um, what well, they call it a programmer, but really all it is, it's a little board that has a bunch of links across. You can actually do it with jumper wires, but for the price, I say buy the programmer. Anyway, so get this, get it installed, and get it working, and then you're going to want to go to, uh, you're going to want to do a search for what's called Sound Modem, and Sound Modem is at uz7ho.ua, it is a uh, foreign site, uh, however, um, I use this, it doesn't seem to make my antivirus software or anything go crazy. What you're going to want to download, if you're going to want to do packet, is you're going to want to download the Sound Modem 100 zip. And we're just going to go ahead and download it real quick. And of course, once we have it downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it up. And there's one file in here. We're going to copy this. And this doesn't have a normal install. It's a self-contained file. It doesn't require an installer. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a directory here. And uh, let's see, we'll call the directory. Oh, we can go ahead and call it sound modem. All right, just like that. And then let's go ahead and paste that file right in there. There we go. All right. All right, now we have that. So we're going to want to go ahead now and set this up for our sound card. So we'll double click on it and it's going to pop the program up for us. And we're going to go here to settings. We're going to go right to devices. Now we need to select the devices that coincide with our sound device, whatever that might be. Um, and we can go ahead and in this case I want the USB codec for both of these. You notice I have a lot of different sound devices on this computer, but this is the one that we're going to use uh, for today's exercise. Now, down here, really, I want to check TX rotation, signal, single channel output. I'll make it a color waterfall, what the heck. And uh, stop waterfall and minimize. Uh, all the rest of this is good. I'm going to wa also want to add the uh, KISS server port right there. And for push to talk, depending on what I'm doing, I'll just shut this off. But uh, push to uh, talk usually is set to none if you're doing this with a signal link. We'll click OK. Tells me that the program has to restart. And we can do that, but we don't have to do it right now. I'm going to go over here now to modems. Now, on the modem screen, everything is pretty good on this. I want to stay pretty much with the default settings. All Though, so I'm going to click KISS right there. I'm going to verify that my modem 
is set to the top one, which is AFSK AX.25 1200 baud. And uh, all of the rest of this looks good. You notice it gives me a second modem. I have to don't have to do anything with that because I'm not going to use it. And I'm going to click OK right here. Well, believe it or not, <laughs> I think we're set to go. So let me go ahead and close it to get it restarted. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to create a shortcut to this. And, uh, we, oop. We'll just go down over here, hold the Alt key down, and create the link. All right, so now I'm back in the browser and I'm going to search for Outpost uh, PMM. There we go, and it is at outpostpm.org. We'll go ahead and go there. Now, Outpost Messenger uh, Message Manager is quite a bit like oh a really really early version of an email client. Now, the reason that we use this is it's very simple and it has a lot of the forms and stuff that we would need for MCOM. Primarily using VHF, uh, UHF packets, it, that's what you're going to be using for MCOM. So let's go ahead and we'll download the packet manager. That's really all we need. We'll wait for that to download. And then all we would do is just run and install this. So we can go ahead and do that. And of course I get the little air don't run because it's not been signed. But I'll just blow right by this. And basically we're going to walk completely through the install. We'll take the defaults. We'll take all that. And we will go ahead and uh, create a desktop icon. And there we go. And we'll click on install. It'll go through a basic install. And I don't need to view the readme, and we'll just say finished. There we go. All right. Awesome. Okay. So now, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to launch Outpost. So let's go ahead. We'll launch it. And the first thing it's going to come up with is... A new profile. So I need to create a new call sign profile. So I'm going to click new and of course I'm going to put my call in. You'll put your own call in and uh, my user's name just like so. I'm not going to be using a tactical. If I was I'd be putting all that information in there and uh, we don't need to worry about anything under BBS, and we don't need to worry about anything under signatures. I'll go ahead and apply, and I'll say OK. And opens up. All right, so now I'm going to need to do a little bit of configuration here. So the first place I'm going to go is I'm going to go to Setup. And I've already done my ID. Now I'm going to do my interface. And I am going to create a new interface. And I'm going to call this interface. Uh, let's see. We're going to call it sound modem. And I'm going to click on the AGW packet engine. And before I go any farther, I want to go ahead and launch sound modem. It's all set to go over here. Now, under here, I'm actually all set to go, my remote host. And remember, we told it to listen on port 8000. So that's all set to go. It does not require a login. So we'll click OK and OK again. There's probably some stuff I'm going to want to take care of before I go too much farther, uh, like oh, send receive settings. Uh, manual's fine. Uh, let's see. 
I'm going to do a send receive every time when I'm receiving, and I don't care about that. Uh, I don't need to print message headers when I receive. Notification, uh, application errors, and I'll just look at all the notifications. And that all looks fine. Let me take the second look at message settings. <clears throat> I want the default to be a network uh, 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 an NTS network traffic system bulletin. Um, and uh, let's see for message numbers. Uh, I think uh, I want to add a number, but I want to do it. Uh, let's see without hyphen. And uh, let's see, well, do I need the number separator? Yeah, I better put the colon there. All right. And then I'm not going to uh, stick anything else in there. Reply forwards. I'm going to set default to the original message type uh, and close original message on forward. I'm not going to request any receipts. Um, prompt before deleting. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, oh, now I'm going to automatically start the uh, OpDirect Enhanced Message System. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because uh, it helps if they're requiring you to use uh, FEMA forms and stuff like that. But that's for another video. For right now, just kind of take my word on that one. You want to go ahead and load it. I'm not worried about reporting uh, anything in general settings. No, I think all of this looks good. Nothing I really need to worry about there. Once you set this up, you never go into this stuff. So it's kind of at that point, it just seems uh, uh, seems like you never look at it. So I like to look at all this stuff. All right, so now let's move to BBSs. All right, I am going to create a new BBS. I am going to call this uh, ECSS. And the connect name is ECSS. That's a tactical... It's for one of our emergency operation centers. Um, I'm going to let it determine the BBS type. I'm not going to mess with that uh, or the pins or prompts or anything else. But receiving, I'm going to tell it to receive all messages. And I'm telling it not to skip my NTS messages that I send. And then I'm going to keep messages on the BBS. Okay. I'm going to apply. Now I'm going to save it. Believe it or not, this thing is now set up. I have my modem over in the uh, upper corner here running, right? The sound modem. It's all set to go. You notice that it's been picking up noise. I'm going to turn up the uh, the radio a little bit. And let's see. Um, I'm just going to see if I can. Now, you know what? I'll just. You'll be able to hear the receive side of this as well. Let's go ahead and create a new message. And we're just going to call this message... Let's see, we'll send it to, uh, let's send it to check-in, test check-in. <laughs> Helps if I can spell, huh? All right, and running a check-in. Demo. I'll sign it with my call sign. EOM, end of message. Now, you don't really have to put this in inside this program. Uh, it's what you used to do on TNCs years ago, TNC uh, BBSs. Um, however, we do it out of habit. The operators are looking for that for whatever reason. And all right, and we're going to go ahead and select send. All right, and we're going to do a send receive. And hopefully, all my sendings are right, and this will actually work. All right, well, it looks like we're all set to go. So let's just punch send receive. You notice this pops up here. Looks like we've made a connection. We're sending our email. We're going to list messages. We're going to list traffic. It should list the email we just sent and a few others. There we go. We're getting uh, our new message. It's going to put it right there. 
You gonna check for other messages? Doesn't look like there's any. There we go. We're disconnecting. So, with a software modem, sound modem, we've been able to utilize uh, out uh, post and been able to successfully make a packet connection to an EOC. Anyway, hey, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let us know. This is Stu, AG6AG. Well, that's it. I hope you got something out of that, folks. Um, I'm also am going to do a little bit on WinLink and how to get it set up using Sound Modem. So uh, tune in for the next one. Anyway, this is Stu, AG6AG73, everybody. Hope to hear you out on the air.